Ooh. Mm. This shit tastes good, man. Ooh, man. What up, YouTube? It's your boy Jarrell here holding it down for Jarrell Fitness. And y'all already know, man, it's time to grow, bro. What's good? Shout out to the T2G Nation. I see y'all watching, man. Much love and respect to y'all, you know? So anyway, man, it's like, what's today? It's Monday evening. I'm finna go ahead and work some back in my home garage, guys. Okay, so y'all see the weights and shit like that. Had to give myself a little energy because it's kind of late. I've been feeling kind of lazy today. So I went ahead and had myself one of these, you know, you know, one of these monster energy drinks right here. I got put on one of these by my boy um, Brandon Campbell and a few other people I see drinking them and shit like that. So this shit tastes good as hell, man, for real. And it gives some nice little energy, man. So I'm going to fuck with this tonight. I don't really feel like taking no C4, you know. So Okay, what's up guys? So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and talk while you guys watch this workout right here. So anyway, I wanted to talk about something that I think is very important to beginners. Okay, if you're an advanced bodybuilder, you probably already know this shit. So you might not even wanna watch this video. But if you're a beginner, I wanna kinda drop some knowledge on you guys just from personal experience, okay? So what I wanna talk about is how important back day and developing your back is important to you increasing your bench press okay now i'm pretty sure that everybody wants to increase their bench press that's pretty much the mecca of all exercises everybody wants to have a big strong chest but a lot of people don't know that your back has a lot to do with that okay so i'm gonna go ahead and use an example for you guys just imagine that you're building a house okay you want to have a nice strong foundation to build that house on top of if you build that house on top of sand what's going to happen it's going to cave in it's going to fall apart okay so you really have to think about the bench press exercise as the same thing okay the same way you think you know you got to think about the bench press exercise the same way okay so without a solid base your technique will definitely break down and your performance will suffer okay so that'll really hold you back from the type of PRs that you're trying to hit and everything else okay also you got to think about it you know having a strong back is very crucial to keeping your body tight and stable okay because the more muscle that you have the more power that you have to tighten up your body and lock it into place okay and definitely having stronger lat muscles will help you push weight when you're doing the bench press okay so like i said man it's very it's very important that you work your back you know for people out there that are beginners that neglect your back you really don't realize that you're shooting yourself in the foot okay i had to learn this the hard way okay i noticed that if i do skip my back day and then chest day comes around whether it's in that same week or the next week i definitely notice a decrease in my performance on the bench press it seems like something's missing and it just don't feel right now i've done this several times over the few years that i've been training and i can definitely say for a fact that i know personally in my opinion if you don't work your back your, your chest day is definitely gonna suffer so that's why i like to train my back every single week um I do heavy compound movements as you guys saw in the first clip I was doing some bent over barbell rows which is a very good exercise um, I think I did about four sets you know um, pyramid my way on up I increase weight like every single set so I like to go pretty you know moderate weight with these you know back exercises but I like to do compound exercises I don't be fucking with all those machines as you guys keep see this is my home gym I don't have any type of fancy equipment I'm just doing straight hardcore compound movements and these are the best exercises to do to build that nice thickness to your back that will definitely protect you while you're doing your bench press and it will help you push the weight up okay so I like to do bent over barbell rows as you guys can see right here in this clip i'm doing some t-ball rows with about three plates on one set and then four plates on another set i think i did about three sets total um and then also you got to make sure that you do some pull-ups i like to do wide grip pull-ups um wide grip neutral grip pull-ups any type of pull up just anything that'll work your lats and just your your upper back and just your back muscles period you know what i'm saying so you gotta make sure that you do that man if you don't believe me go ahead and take a break from working out like the next time you take a break from working out like for a week or two make sure that the first workout that you do is chest day and i guarantee you that like two days later you will have some off 
some delayed offset muscle soreness in your lats and your back muscles because your back is helping you push that weight when you're doing the bench press so that's just a quick tip man for all you guys out there man especially if you're a beginner do not skip back day because it will hinder your chest gains in the gym okay so that's pretty much it guys i'm gonna let you guys watch the rest of the video i think i'm doing some bent over rear delt flies right there which are very all that are also important to improving your bench press as well you have to make sure that you develop that rear delta weight muscle okay it's very essential okay so anyway that's pretty much it guys if you like the video go ahead and like it comment and subscribe to your boy Jarrell here at Jarrell Fitness and like I said in the beginning y'all already know it's time to grow bro I'ma holla at y'all later deuces